All right, here's all the stuff I've got for the 3.6 drop. I've got shocks, front and rear, front springs. I've got drop shackles. Purchase for the uh, axle flip. And everything else needed. Now, when you do this, you can do it with the bed on, but it's a lot easier to take it off. You got to unhook the ground wires underneath the bed for the tail lights, pull all that wiring out. You got to take these bolts right here out. Big Torx bolts, there's six of them. Take them out, and they are a, let me see if I can find the Torx bit number on this. It's a, I got T55 is the bolt size. I'm gonna take all that out. I'm gonna come around. Take these little screws right here out that hold the filler neck in. Sorry, you probably can't see that. The three screws hold the filler neck in. And that's it. Pick the bed up, set it to the side. Can we get all that done? I'll show you more. All right, I got the bed off, like I said. Six bolts. And then you're gonna want to take that bolt, these four, and these two out on each side. You drop the leaf springs and you'll slide them under with the shackle kit and everything like that. And then you'll take that bolt right there on the shock, that shock bolt right there out, and put the new shocks on. So, we'll get the jack on it, get some jack stands underneath it, and we'll be back. Keep going with it. All right, I've got the axle dropped. Leaf springs are under the axle now. I'll just put the hardware in, jack it back up, put it in place. That's all there is to it. When I get that done, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what the drop shackle looks like. This is the stock. That's a two inch drop. That's how you put them on. Take the old one off, slide the new one in, use the original hardware, and when you jack the springs up, put it right back in that hole. And there you go, there's a two inch drop. I'll get the rest of it done, I'll show you how it looks. That's the new drop shot compared to the old original. I've got this side already done. Now I just got to raise the axle up to hook the shocks in, which that'll be the last thing I do because I have to hook the U bolts, hangers, everything like that on the passenger side. The flip kit, you got a bracket. You got the U-bolt thing. It'll have a little nipple that slides down over the bolt and then it tucks into the spring perch. And of course, you have the front rear leaf spring hanger with the drop shackles, which I have to go through and tighten all this stuff up once I got it all in place. But get the other side on, get it all tightened up with the wheels on, show you how it dropped. All right, back's done. Next, we're gonna do the front. Doesn't look like much now. We'll get the bed on, suspension saddled. All right, there it is right there. You can see a little bit better now with the bed back on, the drop it's got. Now, for the front. I'll show you how that works in a minute. All right, last time I worked on this, I showed you how we did the back. I ran out of time, so I didn't get to finish. So this is what we got here. A nice pretty stance truck yeah yeah I know stance trucks ain't worth the shit they suck but today I'm gonna show you how to do that front to get that front end down where it don't look like it's trying to walk drive down the road taking a dump all right as you can see I got the wheel off and now we have to take the collar key and the uh, castle nut from here Carter King castle nut from here. We'll pop this up out of the way with a hammer. 
I need to re replace this end link right here because it's gone. So you'll take that nut out right here and then the nut out on the bottom down there to get all that loose. And that should let this swing over out of the way. You may end up having to take this right here apart as well. I'm trying to avoid having this spindle hanging if I can. And then to get the spring out, or the shock out, you take this right here off. And then down here on the bottom, there's two more. Shock will drop straight through the bottom. Once you have all that out of the way, you put your spring compressor on the spring. And lower this arm down, slide the spring out. When I get more of that done, I'll show you. As you can see, I got the shock out, cool spring out. Uh... When you do that, always, always, always use cool spring compressors. If you don't, spring can fly out and it could kill you. All right, now I've just put the other spring in. And I'll show you the setup on it in just one second. All right, there's the difference between the old shock and the new shock, the old spring and the new spring. These new springs got about a cool and a half cut out of them. Two cools cut out of them compared to the other ones. Three inch drop shocks. And drop springs. Alright, I'm fixing to line them up. Put them back in. Let's go. Alright. Got the new cool in. New shock in. Everything's tightened up. Now we just gotta get the wheel on it. Get her down. When we get to the other side and I'll show you when it's done. Alright, we got all this side, driver's side completely done. Got to replace the sway bar link, bushings, everything like that's done, other than that. Uh, on this side, we're running into a bit of a problem. Let's see if you can see that. I can't see shit right now with the sunlight. Had to end up cutting that top bolt off, nut off, because, well, it's stripped out, and all it wanted to do was sit inside and spin in the housing. So, quick cut with a sawzall. I made a quick handy work of it. Of course, everything's back together now. We put the wheel on, we'll get her down and show you what it looks like. Alright, much more better now. That's that 3 6 drop. I put a link in the description for it. That's all there was to it. It looks so much better. Got some good tuck in the back. Front wouldn't hurt to come down to hair more, but also gotta let the suspension settle. And we're parked on the incline. But, it is what it is for now. Now one thing you need to remember, after you take your wheels off to do this stuff, yeah, because you tighten them down with a lug nut, or uh, impact, go back and tighten them, check them with a the, uh, tire iron too. Torque, check your torque, make sure the wheel don't come off. It sucked to do all that work, and then the wheel come off going down the road. But, here it is. This is just the start. We've got a lot more coming on this thing. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Alright, got it all back together. I did have to kind of go back and fix the front a little bit. When you do this, not only you got to make sure the spring pocket is set in the bottom, but the top is kind of tricky too. And if you don't watch it, it'll pop out. So I had to go back and fix that. But that did tell, take out some of that gap in the front. On that side. As well as that side. So it is a little lower. I mean it could go a lot lower with the air ride suspension kit. Or I could take the original shocks. Or not the shocks, but the original springs. Cut a couple coils. But you don't want to get too many coils cut, then you're going to tear all kinds of stuff up. But just a little reminder, make sure you set them uh, springs in top and bottom.